Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of this Eidolon challenge playthrough. Uh, as you can see I'm actually doing some Dungeoneering. Um, happy hours just kind of popped up and I was like you know what might as well might as well try it might as well do it. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna go and I don't know how much I'm going to I guess like show of it. Maybe I'll show the entirety of like the first one. Um, I, I guess I'll just grab this quest and uh, yeah let's go find a party oh wow <laughs> look at all these people still still doing dungeoneering or dungeoning or whatever the hell it's called in this um yeah i haven't really done much of dungeoning or just dungeons in general for quite a while um So I don't know what this like join others button does or anything like that. Just kind of. I don't think anybody's gonna want me in their party though. That's kind of the problem because, you know, I'm rank one and everything, and I don't really have anything to show for it. But there is some you know good non dungeon stats uh, that you can kind of upgrade, and he did nerf the cost of these, so I might be able to get some of these as well. And maybe even uh, the base proficiency or efficiency talent book for skills. That would be really nice. And maybe some, or maybe at least one keychain. So I'm going to try and get into a party and I'll start recording when we start the dungeon. So I'll see you then. Uh, real quick, I ended up just doing that quest real quick. And you get 10 dungeon credits, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I can really... Uh, I can, I can buy something. Um, I guess let's just go with the Rusty Blade for now. And there's probably something else I could upgrade. Um, I'll just save the rest of my Fleurbos or whatever. Or Dungeon Credits. Fleurbos are the like, red, pinkish ones. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back when I finally get into a dungeon. Uh, I'm gonna chime in right here real quick again because I don't know if I'm supposed to have 24 of these I don't know if they start accumulating like right when you make your character or account or whatever or if this is another bug but I'm not really sure but I'm just gonna end up doing the dungeon anyways so and uh, I just did that party of three dungeon so I think this is the last quest for, or not dungeon, party of three quests I should say. Um, I think this is the last quest for this like grand fogger, or frogger, <laughs> sorry I'm stuttering, uh, the toe stall, like I think this is his last quest. I just don't want to, you know, leave my party waiting, that's why I'm kind of just frazzled right now. Uh, you get some more dungeon credits and you get two rerolls, or I guess dice rolls. Which is pretty nice. Um, for some reason, that was a an achievement. I don't know what that was. I'm um, just kind of sitting here waiting to get into the dungeon. But I just wanted to make note about the dungeon run things and that I ended up getting this quest done. Okay, finally, that took a while. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not really gonna sit here and explain how dungeons work. You just kind of kill these little... holy hell. Um, you just basically kill uh, all these little, I guess, tents or whatever, wooden structures, and then, you know, all the mobs spawn. And I'm not really going to participate too much considering, you know, I'm basically still rank 1, and the only reason why I'm rank 7 is because of the of the uh, quests or whatever, but I'm just going to kind of act like I'm rank 1 and not really doing much because I don't really have any abilities or anything like that and I'm not really going to be that helpful. Uh, if we can kill the first boss I'll be pretty happy about that just to kind of get the quest done um, and maybe get some floor bows and whatnot so I can get maybe like a necklace and whatnot um, although I do have a necklace already but I'm pretty sure the accuracy will be a little bit better. But 
Who knows? Might as well just buy some RNG items. And... Yep. Isn't this fun? I'll probably die right here. Um... Oh, that's cool. I got an achievement. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really sure what most of these are. I don't really look at the names like on Steam or like on the tasks or whatever. Um, hey, we get some bonus experience and I just died. Which is fine. I mean, it's not like I'm really going to be able to do much anyways. And this is just a shit show. <laughs> like, holy moly. Uh, we do get some class experience, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else we got. What is it? This? And we get 2% total damage for all characters outside of dungeon. That's pretty good. And then 3% class experience. I'm pretty happy about that. Um... I am kind of curious as to how much like Florbos and stuff I will get. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's anything up top on the like top floor or top like level. Uh, there's some food and stuff, but not really. Probably check that periodically. Uh, this might actually just be like the entire second episode. Or not second episode. <laughs> this might just be the entire fourth episode. It's just this entire dungeon. Um, and then after this, I probably will only... Hey, we got a card. I will probably only show... Like, solo dungeons or how far I can get. Um, or if I, like, beat a new boss or whatever. Just, you know, things like that, of that nature. Might as well just spawn those for the other people. And I'm gonna die right here again, which kinda sucks, but... I'm doing something, I'm helping. I was gonna spend some Flurbos, um... Or not Flurbos, I keep calling them Flurbos. I was gonna spend dungeon credits on like upgrading my weapon, but... I'll probably just do that later. Cause I knew I wasn't gonna be able to really participate or do much. And I think we might actually kill the third one. I knew it got nerfed, but that's kind of crazy. Uh, this is some more damage, which is pretty nice. Um, we might be able to get this one too, which would be kind of crazy. He did add a fourth one though, didn't he? I don't... Oh, wait, no, that's... that's... Is it this? Oh, it's this one, which is just even more damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've gotten to the uh, third one before he nerfed it. I've gotten to the third one quite frequently. I just never had enough damage to to kill it myself on my main account. Um, and I never really could get the best build. Like, whenever I'd get a decent build, there wouldn't be that much time left. So, I think my main account's like rank 50 or something. Which, I don't think that's high anymore. Uh... But I did do a lot of dungeoning when it first came out. I think I have like 900 or a thousand like attempts or whatever now stacked up on my main because like I haven't because I think it just keeps stacking up and I don't think there's a hard cap for it. And I died again. So this is fun. Look how many mobs there are. That's crazy. And all we need is that little... That little blue one. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not.
Because, again, I don't, I don't really know how much health. I'm not even really reading these. I'm just kind of grabbing whatever. Uh, I don't even know how much health there is. Like on the third uh, Grand Frogger. Also, this really sucks without any abilities, too. Let's see if there's anything to loot up here. Nope. Oh man, we actually uh, summoned it. Let's see if we can kill it. Oh yeah, we'll definitely kill it before three minutes. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it seems like people are ranked like, what, in their 20s to like maybe 50s or something. So we got some decently ranked people in this group. What's funny is, Sorry for the chair squeak. Oh, I just died again. What's funny in my opinion is uh, I was having a hard time getting into a, a group of just like three or four people and there was like there was always one or two people that weren't near the door or anything. I don't even think they were on the map anymore. And then I got into this like big group and then everybody was just ready to go. Or I think everybody was already in here or something. Which is kind of funny because I was sitting there for a while trying to find a group and I ended up having to switch worlds. Oh wow. I didn't know the color of the map changed. That's pretty cool. It gets all like dark looking. That's insane. Yeah, like that was actually the first time I've ever killed that uh, boss. I usually, like I said, I usually don't play in groups, but since this was happy hour, I was just like, might as well. And I can probably get some good stuff. Actually, it might be more beneficial for me to just kind of not kill things and try and like chop this tree. Oh wait, you need an imp you need to avoid Imperium hatchet. I forgot you need like better hatchets as you kill the bosses or whatever. I'm just gonna go up here and kill these purple ones instead. I should probably drop my stuff in the cauldron for others, though. Dang, we made 1700 already, and we haven't even gotten our dice yet. Which, I don't know if that's still broken or not, like these, or not this one, but like, the ones where you get more rolls or whatever, or you get a higher chance for more dice. I think that's, that. like, I think those items are still broken if I'm not mistaken. Because I know they were broken a long time ago, like the golden dice or whatever. Or the, uh, the one where it's based off your money or whatever. And I think my mouse is actually dying right now because it's kind of spazzing out. But yeah, there's a... Uh, I, I don't even know if I have that that uh, dungeon item, that RNG item unlocked. Anyways, any like any, I don't I don't even know. I didn't even look. Still got five though. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. From rank 1 to rank 18 or whatever. Look at all those dungeon credits. Okay, let's leave. And thank you everybody for carrying me. That was really nice. <laughs> um, first, let's get this quest out of the way. And then... I'm just gonna buy... Dang, mouse. Hang on, uh, let me fix my mouse and I'll come back. Okay, there we go. I ended up changing worlds too. Um, so I'm just gonna buy the tier ones because I'd rather just have some keychains or whatever. So that's base damage, which for as low a level as I am, that's pretty good, I think. I mean, it could definitely be better, but it's better than nothing. And then we get money, a defense, and two luck. That's not terrible considering 
defense is pretty good early on and then the luck is definitely good for you know me being a beginner so that'll give me more accuracy and then please try using these again outside the dungeon when happy hour is over oh that's weird didn't i just use some of them whatever um we're gonna buy one of these one of these um another one of these which that's amazing that's seven defense um and that's level 28 which isn't that great but hey that's our first uh special talent which is again better than nothing and that'll definitely help early on i would imagine um this gives accuracy and some other stats which oh i thought this gave a weapon power i guess that's the other one uh, so that's definitely worth using. And then... This gives efficiency, and then this is some fishing stuff, but... I think I kind of want to... I don't know what I should do. I should... This all costs one. So I'm just going to upgrade all of this once at least. Just because it costs so... It's so cheap. Um... But I think I want to try and get a better book. Maybe try a few times. And then buy one of these and one of these. Uh, so yeah, that, that'll give me skill efficiency. So that'll definitely be useful later. And then this gives me like some fishing stuff, which will definitely be amazing later. And we got a 92, which isn't, you know, the 100 or whatever, but I'll take that for now, definitely. Can I buy this? Oh, I can't buy this. Oh yeah, this gives bonus damage. I forgot about this. This is actually pretty good later on. Um, I'm not sure what else I want to buy, if anything, right now. You must get and use the previous star talent to max. Oh, I need to get it to 80. Oh, okay, I gotcha. What level is this? 16. Hang on, let me leave and come back because it's kind of like bugged or whatever. I want to see how much that costs. Oh, this only costs 50? Are you kidding me? That's so cheap. Okay, 68. That's, that's pretty good for now. Um... kind of tempted to maybe get that but I can't wield it right now so we're just gonna get another one of these real quick and then I'm debating whether I want to put stuff into like weapon power or not I think I'm just gonna throw it all into weapon power and then we'll have two of these and we'll go out and see what our kind of like our gear looks like real quick before I end the episode. Uh, this was definitely worth doing, which I had a feeling it kind of would be, but it's funny because I was gonna start the episode out making copper boots, but I don't have ten smithing to make them. Uh, we have thirty-one defense, and our damage is eighty-two to two thirty-three. That's pretty good. Please try again outside and when happy hours. That's so weird. Important, you need dungeon rank to get to your two keychains and... Oh, okay. I guess we'll just wait for happy hour to be over. We don't need that anymore. Um, and we can't use these yet, but... I thought it would just be nice to kind of get this out of the way. And we'll spend the dungeon credits later, like when I do another dungeon. Um, so this is going to be the end of the episode, and I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Uh, see ya!